this is um, a bit of English news uh, coming from English media, but I'm just reporting on this because I'm I'm reporting on this because I'm actually surprised at the sentence. To be fair, because usually when it comes to um, vehicular, how do you pronounce that? Vehicular, ve, vehicle homicide. How do you pronounce vehicular? Whatever that word is, homicide. Usually, for some odd reason, they never get the right sentence they usually get manslaughter charges or the sentence is really low um and it's something that i really hate especially when it comes to people who are under the influence i fucking hate it right going you know driving drunk and fucking crashing into somebody and then you survive and the person that had you know that had nothing to do with an innocent part ends up passing away in this case it wasn't the case it was actually a mother and daughter went out to confront a guy who was blackmailing the mum because I think she was having an affair with the kid and the kid was blackmailing her to get more money out of him and then her and her daughter decided to go and confront him in a car. Um, the kid then decides to drive off because he is a bit scared. And then the mum and daughter chase him down the motorway and as they're chasing him down the motorway and shit, that's what leads to him crashing and the boy and his friend end up passing away. So the mother, the daughter is obviously a TikToker called um, Mahek Bukhari and her mum, who is the ones having an affair with a young dude. They both got sentenced to life for the murders, which is pretty crazy. You don't usually see this happening, honestly. I, don't, I can't remember. Okay, people tell me in the chat to pronounce it. It's you pronounce it vehicular. Yeah, vehicular manslaughter or, or murder. You usually don't hear these kind of things happen. It don't, they don't usually happen. So it's good that this did happen. Because usually people in cars, I don't know why, it, 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 there's always a fucking loophole they can fucking find. So let's read the, card, the article quickly here. It says a social media influencer and her mother have been jailed for the cold-blooded murder of two men who died when their car was rammed off the road. Okay, so it's rammed off. It wasn't even a car crash. Okay, that's why probably they got convicted then. If they could prove that they actually, oh, um, quickly saying here, Colorado um, scored again. Let's see. What's the, what's the score now? I'm actually now. I'm actually invested in it. I want to get into this shit. This looks quite fun. Uh, what's the score? Is it over already? Is it finished? No. Oh shit! Forty-five, forty-two. Okay, good, 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 good. Colorado are winning forty-five, forty-two. It's a kind of a back and forth game. So let's continue. Um, Mahek um, and Ansarin Bukhari um, recruited others before killing of Sak Sakib Hussein and Hasim Ijzuduni. Ij Ijzaduni, both twenty-one. Um, the fatal car crash in Leicestershire came after Mr. Hussein threatened to reveal an affair he'd been having with Ansarin, 46. The court heard it was proof of love, obsession and extortion. Mahik, a 24-year-old social media influencer who the judge branded entirely self-obsessed, was jailed for life in order to serve at least 31 years and 8 months. Fucking hell. The daughter. She's not even fucking, she wasn't even doing the affair. But because she was in the car that rammed the car off of the road, I think she's probably driving, if I'm not mistaken. 31 years. What an absolute dummy. But again, you deserve all that time, man. Fuck off. Answering who was headed, um, whose head had been turned by the perceived glamour of her daughter's career, was jailed for life and given a term of 26 years and nine months. Leicester Crown Court heard that Bukhari's lured Mr. Hussein to a meeting in a Tesco car park saying he would be given free back 3000 he claimed to have spent on his lover during the relationship. Okay. So now I get why they got life in prison. They could prove that this was all premeditated. They were lured to that location under the, you know, under the idea that there would be, he would be given back his money that he thought he's, you know, he deserved back because the relationship kind of broke down. So he's going to get back the money he they agreed he was going to give back to him. And then when they got there, they realized it was an ambush. They sped off. And then the guys, the, the mother and daughter followed them and then rammed them off the road, which then caused their death. Fucking hell. They planned to take his mobile phone from him, believing it contained especially images of Ansarine, which he had threatened to reveal. Mr. Hussein and his friend, Mr. Ijad, Ijad Zudin, were then ambushed by the masked gang, recruited by the Bukharis, and chased in their Skoda Fabia along the A46 at speeds of 90 miles per hour. That's the first mistake they made. That's what happens when you drive a Skoda. You can't be driving a Skoda trying to get away from anything, let alone a, a, a Seat, a Seat Leon and an Audi TT. There's no way you're going to get away in a Skoda. That's where they got fucked up. You know what I mean? Um... 90 miles per hour, crashing into a tree, into a ball of flames. Fucking hell, man. That must have been such a horrible way to go out. RIP to those men, man. I feel even more sorry for this guy because he wasn't even involved. He just went there to go support his friend, right? Like a bit of moral support. 
that's all he went to go do and then he ends up fucking passing away because he just went to go back his friend he was he was actually a good friend you know what i mean it continues judge timothy spencer said the prosecution characterized this as a story of love obsession and extortion as they were right um they were also right in the characterizing the case as one of the cold-blooded murder yeah those are the two victims r.i.p to those two guys that's the friend hasim ajuzid so hasim ijazuddin um, r.i.p and sakib hussein so young bro like fuck bro so fucking sad man r.i.p to those guys the judge said the tiktok and instagram where mr mahik bukhari had amassed tens of millions so tens of thousands of followers posting beauty and fashion advice were at the heart of this story he told Mahek, your tour de fame through your career as an influencer has made you entirely self-obsessed. He said her warped values had led her to having no apparent awareness of the impact of her action on others. Yo, guys, doesn't that sound like Brendan Schaub? Doesn't it sound like Brendan Schaub? Your career as an influencer has made you entirely self-obsessed. You have warped values and no apparent awareness. Doesn't that sound like Brendan? Or am I bugging? <laughs> <laughs> oh some of the dreads on these guys are calling this guy this kid here the dreadlocks oh they won the game is, is, is it over or is it just the first game in the thing they won it's 45 42 he's getting is he getting is he talking to the press now yeah he is right let's see if i can hear this Yo, the kid, the dreadlocks I'm seeing on these kids, bro. Woo! I kind of want to get, I kind of want to get my braided, my hair braided now, man. Seeing all these luscious fucking dreadlocks. Is this over though? Is this over or are they playing, or is this like a series with this Colorado game? Or is this the final game or is it over? What's it doing? Coach Prime is gassed. What's happening? Let me know in the chat. Is this one game or is this like a series of games? Uh, AZ doing a live before 2 a.m. Yeah, big up P09 Bala. I appreciate you, brother. I bet the French guy wins this fight. All right, cool. Let me let me post off mute. You guys can tell me later if this is a series of games. Um, she blew a kiss to her father, present in the course, as she was taken from the dock to her jail sentence. Jesus Christ. The judge said Antrine's head had been turned by the proceed gamma of her daughter's career, with her often appearing in the post online and attending promotions at sh and shisha bar openings. He said it was, wow. So that girl was like a proper influencer in like the Indian scene, right? She was doing promotions, she was attending events, going to shisha bar openings. Fucking hell. So I'm assuming in their local community, like this is a big deal that she's that, that this happened fuck he said it was a world removed from her life as a mother and housewife he told her you're the grown-up in this group you should have behaved as a grown-up but you allowed your understandable concern about exposure to stripe to strip you of any rational judgment you know the, the judge absolutely read her down in it the judge absolutely read the mum very true he said he she made yeah that's true because you could say in theory the mum basically ruined her daughter's life yeah the mum ruined her daughter's life Oh, Austin. <laughs> news art news article sports fighting. This is the ADHD stream. You know what? <laughs> I'm not going to I'm not going to argue against you. I've I've often wondered <laughs> if I may have suffered if I may suffer from those things. <laughs> I may be undiagnosed ADHD or ADHD uh, <laughs> person. You never know. I may be I may be <laughs> undiagnosed i have like two screens or maybe three including my phone going at the same time different feeds you know what i mean i, I might be undiagnosed i might be undiagnosed i'm not gonna lie <laughs> this might explain a lot about me i'm not gonna lie fucking hell anyway it continues uh big up natashki as well yes you know the adhd gang right let's have some gang signs you know whatever um he cited two key whatsapp messages from mahek one said i'll soon get him jumped by guys he won't know what day it is i'll make sure he gets jumped he won't know what day it is okay so all these people also got arrested too or got sentenced these other these are the other people who are part of the conspiracy um early on friday the court heard statements from the families of the victims in which the parents of mr hussein and mr adruzidin um said their lives had been changed forever mr adruzidin's father um 
Sikander Hayat said his son, who accompanied his friend to the rendezvous that ultimately led to his death, had been innocent for sure. The son was that guy was super innocent. Um, he said he could not understand why the defendants had not called the emergency service after the crash. Oh, so they were still alive. There could have been time to save them, but they sped off. <sighs> now I can see why they got life. Premeditated, they lured they lured them to the car park under false pretense. They then chased them around the motorway, ran their car off of the motorway. The car crashes into the tree, goes goes up in a ball of flame, and they make no effort to call the emergency services. Yeah, go go and sit down in prison for life. Go and fuck off. Get buried under the fucking prison. Um, he said he could not understand why the defense had not called the emergency services. They left him and his friend to burn in a furnace of hell. Fuck, man, the dad must be distraught. In a statement read on the behalf, Mr. Hussein's family said the parents had been left with two lifeless corpses, unable to eat or drink in a run-up to their son's funeral. During the trial, a 999 call made by Mr. Hussein in the moments before the fatal crash was played. He told police handlers, there's a guy following me. They have banner clubbers on. They're trying to ram me off the road. A scream was heard on the line before the call abruptly ended. The judge said it was one of the most moving, distressing pieces of evidence he's ever heard in a criminal court. Imagine hearing that aloud, hearing your kid's last fucking, you know, last words. Awful, man. Also sentenced to the murder are the fellow defendants, Rekhan Kerwan, 29, Reese Jamal, 23, who were recruited by the Bukhari's driving pursuit in the car. The court heard Jamal was serving a sentence for rape. Jesus Christ. So essentially the mum not only ruined the li her life, she ruined the lives of the victims and she ruined the lives of all five of these people that she involved in her conspiracy to cover her fucking affair. Okay, you had an affair. Is it that big of a deal? Like, so what? It happened. Cool, you get divorced. You have to deal with the consequences like a grown-up. She ruined all these people's lives. These five people and obviously the victims who passed away and her own fucking daughter. She might go down for the worst mum of the worst mum I've ever seen in my entire life. This might be worst mum of the year. This might be worst mum of the fucking year. Fucking hell, bro. <laughs> Just because you couldn't fucking keep your little dusty old lady Punani in check or whatever, you had to go and then ruin everybody's life, man. But yeah, RIP to the victims. Um, force the freedoms to go out to their family. And yeah, I'm glad that for once, when it comes to these vehicular um, murders, that the perpetrators get some lengthy prison sentence because far too often, you know, these guys get away with manslaughter and shit. It's fucking annoying. So it's good to just see that they actually went down for a long period of time. And this might give other people pause to try and do the same thing because... <sighs> God almighty, man. What tragedy. What absolute tragedy. Uh, what are you guys saying in the chat? Uh, AZ, yeah. The more you keep telling us if this story, the more tragic it becomes. Awful. Yeah, exactly, Josie. It's it, one of the worst stories I've heard in a long time. Really, really was. Really, really legitimately was because it was all so avoidable. All of it. All so avoidable. And it just turned super horrible. But I didn't know how malicious it was until I read the details about them you know, she basically told the guy to come and meet her at the car park. She was going to give her the money back that he felt like he was owed because the relationship kind of broke down. And then, you know, the whole idea behind it was that he was going to come out of the car and those five guys were meant to beat him up and shit. So eventually he would have died. if they, Because you don't go to those kind of things just to beat somebody into a bloody pulp without wanting to murder. It would have gone to, if someone would have hit him over the head with a bat or something, Jeremy, you know I it would have gone crazy. So one way or the other, it was a premeditated murder, which is why I probably understand why the judge was so harsh with the sentence because it showed they went into it malicious intent. Um, during the club, da, da, da. the mom was a whole demon, exactly Natashki. Eyes closed together, exactly. <laughs> the uh, goddamn, she crashed out. Oh, 